Hello dear friends, this is you old Humphreys and I'm glad to be with you. Share with you another word from the Word of God and it's a good word I pray that will bless your heart. Just a five or ten minute message that I have entitled <coughs> as I look at it. <coughs> God, <coughs> God is your, your, your uh, purpose and your power. God is your purpose in life and He's your power to live for God. To live the right kind of life. And so we see in Psalms uh, 19, verse 14, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. So the words of our mouth, the way we talk to others, should be always important to us because they're important to God. And we need to pray with the psalmist and say, Lord, let the words of my mouth be acceptable in your sight. Be careful how you talk and what you say. It is important, but you must learn to talk. You must learn to say, because the Bible says, go and tell others. And we must tell, we must talk. Tell others the things that uh, the Lord has done for you. And tell others how the Bible teaches us to live. Encourage others with a word of encouragement. Seek always to look for the good in others. Try to find that which is well-pleasing to God and to you and to others. And you'll find something good. And therefore, encourage but the words that God gives you, that's important. And so we learn that God, God's great power and purpose in life is for you to be a blessing to others. Who, who uh, You that know the Lord, you that have been saved by grace and bought by the blood, you need to find and follow the way of the Lord and know God's way is best. That He cares for you and He cares for others. And He'll touch lives through you. I'm speaking right now to someone that's needing to hear that word. He's going to touch a life through your life. And he'll be uh, your strength as you give to others. The Bible says over in uh, John, uh, Joshua, the first chapter, verse 8, This book of the law, talking about the Bible, This book shall not depart out of your mouth. So you see, you need to speak the word. Read the Bible. Memorize a few verses. And try to get them in your heart so you can share them with others. This book shall not depart out of your mouth. And you shall be able to do, then you shall be able to do all that's according, that's written therein. For you shall, <clears throat> then you shall make your way prosperous. And you shall have good success. If you just read the Bible. And then try to live according to how it's written. To the words that you find written here. And you'll make your way prosperous. You'll prosper. And you'll find good success in your life. You'll find success when you walk with God. Acknowledge Him in all your ways. He will direct your path. He's going to help you find the answer. He's going to help you right now find that to help you with that decision you need to make. And it'll be a right decision because you're trusting Him. You're asking Him for help. Put your hand in the hand of God. Put your hand in the hand of the man of Galilee and he'll walk with you and he'll lead you into the right way. God says over in the Psalms again in 63rd chapter uh, that is a word that's important. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the night watches it's a good thing sometimes to think about him even after you go to bed. The other night I was having a difficult time going to sleep and so I said, well, wait a minute. I'm just going to consider you upon my bed and meditate on you in the night watches. And I began to think about God and began to pray and talk to the Lord. And I just was able to do that for a while. And before too long, I was asleep. Praise the Lord. Think on the things of God. Go by the Word of God. Live by the Word because it's a Word that is right. It's a Word that's right. Uh, my little son, years ago, when I turned the light out and started to leave his bedroom. He said, Daddy, I'm, I'm afraid. And I, I said, what are you afraid of, son? He said, I'm afraid of the dark. I said, well, don't you be afraid. I'm right here, and the Lord's here with us. We're going to be all right. But many times we are afraid of the dark. We don't know what's going to happen. We have some kind of a, a problem with our family or with our job or with our money or, or with our health. There's so many things that happen that can cast us into darkness. But the Lord is your power and the purpose of your life. Even in those times. The Bible says in Psalm 27, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? 
Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? So you see, if the Lord God is your light, then you have no real darkness. In your darkest hour, your light is shining and you see your way through it and you're going to come through with a song. And in the night time, when you're walking in night with the Lord, who shall you fear when the Lord God is with you? The Lord is your strength. He's your strength. Who's going to overcome you? Because the Lord God is holding you. He's your strength. So we need to see that and recognize it and love God for it. Oh, praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord God. What a God we serve. What a wonderful God we serve. I thank God for that. Oh, praise His name. I thank God for that old hymn, My Faith Has Found a Resting Place. My faith has found a resting place, not in defiance nor creed. But I trust in the ever-living One Whose wounds for me doth plead I need no other argument I need no other plea It is enough that Jesus died And that He died for me The great physician heals the sick And the lost He came to save Praise God for me, the, He shed His precious blood, and for me His life He gave. I have no other argument, I have no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died, and that He died for me. I want you to believe, trust Him, believe Him and ask Him to forgive you of every sin, to come into your heart and help you live for Him and let Him be your purpose and your power. Believe He rose again. Believe He's coming back and He wants you to be ready for Him so He can take you home to heaven. Believe in Him. Ask Him to come in your heart as the Lord of your life. Then find you a good church. Go to it and worship God and let the Lord be the strength of your life in all that you do. And God will bless you. Let me close with this word. Over in Matthew, the 11th chapter, in verse 28, Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. What is the secret to living the Christian life? Well, there are some good thoughts, but here's three words that the Lord spoke in that verse that are so meaningful in relation to the Christian life. Those three words are, Come unto me. Come unto me, the Lord Jesus. That's what you need to do. Wherever you are, just go to Him in prayer. Go to Him by faith, belief. Say, Lord, help me. I'm coming to you. Help me. Amen. He'll teach you to pray. He'll teach you to walk. He'll teach you to talk. He'll teach you to live. But He'll do it one day at a time. And God will bless you. And the Lord will be your strength. So listen to those words. Come unto me. Right now, go to Him. Tell Him your needs. Tell Him your desires. Ask Him for what you want, but may it always redound to His glory. May it be according to His will. And oh, praise God, He will hear. He will answer, and you will be blessed. May the Lord bless you. May you learn to do, to walk, to live in the presence of the Lord Jesus. Come unto me. He is God's purpose and God's power in your life through the blessed Holy Spirit that lives within. In the name of Jesus, Amen.